Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a houseplant collection video and I did one of these a couple months back on my channel. It was actually the first video that I ever posted. It was very poorly filmed. I filmed it off of my iPhone and I filmed it up and down instead of sideways. Half of the frame was like cut out and it just like wasn't the best video ever. So I decided to do an updated one. This video has been requested over on my Instagram to do like an updated plant collection. So the first one that I did was, I'm just pulling up my, I'm just pulling up my YouTube so that I can see how long ago it was. It was six months ago and it was 2020. So I, um, I filmed that video when I first moved into this apartment so I really didn't have that many plants and the apartment like wasn't done like at all like we still had our mattress on the floor and all of our clothes were in boxes stuff like that so the apartment is going to look a lot different than that video I also have a lot more plants in that video I haven't even watched that video in a while so I don't even know if I still have some of those plants I, I probably still have some of them but not all of them I also haven't counted my plants in like a while but the last time that I counted it was like 60 something so i'm probably over 70 plants or just at 70. i kind of just stopped keeping track to be honest my bedroom is mostly my plant room it's not done yet like i'm not done decorating the bedroom like at all my dad is building me shelves to go above my bed so that i could put my cacti and my succulents up there so for now they're just like sitting on the top of my headboard of like my bed probably the next time that i film this video it will also look a little bit different especially the bedroom like i said the bedroom is not done. So I'm just going to go around my apartment, show you all of my plants like one by one. I have plants pretty much in every room of the apartment so you'll get a little sneak peek of what my apartment looks like as well. I am very proud of how it looks so far and how the decorating is going. Enough of me babbling. Let's just go ahead and get right into the plant tour. This is what my apartment looks like when you first walk in. I'm probably going to show you guys the bathroom first and just kind of like make my way over that way. This is kind of what my apartment looks like when you first walk in. I have my boyfriend's like gaming desk there and a little bench and okay, well, whatever, it's not an apartment tour. <laughs> this is my bathroom and in my bathroom, I just recently moved these plants in here. I don't know if I like them here or if I'm going to keep them here, but I really wanted to put plants in the bathroom and I wanted to do like low light plants. so. I'm trying to figure out if these are just gonna work here or not, but for now, they're doing okay. I have a ficus burgundy over here, burgundy rubber tree. He hasn't been growing, like he wasn't doing that good in the living room, so that's why I kind of moved him in here because I thought that he would get a little bit better light in here. For now, he's just four leaves and there looks to be a new one coming out. It's had this new growth point since I bought it, so I don't really know what it's doing. And then right next to it, I have my philodendron by Petifolium. So this thing like does good wherever I put it. It's kind of reaching like towards the light right now, and I really need to make this support like higher. But it is pretty tall, and it is giving me a new leaf right there. This is like one of the fastest growing plants that I have. Yeah, so I moved that one in there. I just like the way that it looked in here. Then right next to it, on top of this like over the toilet storage, I have my variegated Maranta. I think that it's been liking the like super high humidity in here because me and my boyfriend like body shower twice a day. So it's like always steamy in here, but think that it's liking it in here I'm not sure I, I don't think it's growing as fast as it was in the bedroom because yeah it does get a decent amount of light in here but I do have a sheer shower curtain up so it's kind of getting like diffused light I think it's doing okay so far I'm gonna keep an eye on all three of these but for now those are the three that I have in my bathroom okay and then for my living room I have some plants up on that little cubby that one in the basket is fake. Up here, I have my Burroughs tail uh, succulent and it is doing so good. I used to have it in a hanging basket, um, like in my window, but it was getting way too big for that pot and I don't have another hanging basket that it would fit in. So I popped it in that six inch pot and it's doing really good. And right next to it, I have my Hoya Retusa, which is one of my favorite plants. I'm obsessed with it. And right next to it, I have my string of dolphins. This was the baby plant that I made for my mother plant. So it was just a bunch of cuttings that I rooted and potted it up and it is just growing like crazy. That's how long it is if it's like not behind the TV. I'm really proud of that because I grew it from cuttings. So I don't know, I love that plant so much and I'm hoping that it does okay there. I've recently kind of moved all of my plants around 
and I'm hoping that they all do okay in their new spots. We're getting more light now, so I thought that I would shift them around. Right over here on the wall, I have this really cool castle piece. I don't even know what it's called, but it has an air plant in it. I'm not exactly sure what kind of air plant it is. It's doing pretty good over here and it doesn't get that much light. I'm kind of hoping that it like reflects from the mirror over here. So far, it's been doing really good. I water it like once a week um, in a bowl. Right over in this little nook, I have my big beautiful mirror. I'm obsessed with this mirror. I love the way this little corner looks. I have my golden pothos up there and I'm starting to train it along the wall. It's focusing on my finger, sorry. I'm starting to train it along the wall and I want it to go over the complete archway. And then right next to it, also in a macrame, I have my philodendron heterisium. It's just my Hartley philodendron. I love this little thing. It's so pretty. And then right here in this tapestry, my friend Brie from California, I met her through Instagram. She made this for me and sent it to me. So I'm obsessed with it. I love the way that it looks. It's so pretty. I have my silver sword in here. It's doing pretty good. Down here, I have two plant stand. So over here I have my bigger version of my Calathea Rufa Barbara. And this little thing is just my goldfish plant. I actually have two in there. I have a like regular goldfish plant and then I have the black gold goldfish plant. I'm really excited to see them bloom and kind of be like a mixed pot in there. But I, I bought those like kind of a while ago and it hasn't bloomed for me yet. And then right here on my other plant stand, I just have my philodendron prince of orange. It's giving me a new leaf. So pretty. I just posted my philodendron collection, so if you haven't seen that, I will link it down below, but that is my Prince of Orange. And then for the last plant in my living room, I have my Sansevieria Laurenti. It's a snake plant, and this was like one of the first plants that I ever bought, and it's still with me. But this thing is such a trooper. Like, it's so far away from a window, and it's just growing like crazy, and it's doing really good. Now we're going to get into my bedroom. So this is kind of what my room looks like when you first walk in. <laughs> Mau Mau's is sleeping on the bed. I'm going to start over here. This is like the main part of my plants. First off, I have my red Maranta. This is such a fast grower. It's so easy and I just love the way that it looks. Right next door, I have my Alocasia Black Velvet. This guy I thought was going dormant and I was so nervous for it, but it's doing good. It's popped out this new growth point, so I'm really excited for that. Oh god, I just bumped into that. Okay, and then here is my rattlesnake calathea. It's one of my favorite calatheas. I love the way that it looks. It's so easy. It has the purple backs, and I love this guy. Um, Up here, I have my ficus ruby. So my ruby rubber tree, and it is so pretty. I love the pink on the leaves, and it's very similar to a teneke, but the teneke doesn't stay pink. The ruby does stay pink. And then this is my Calathea moikiana or Macchiana, however you want to say it. It's giving me a new leaf right there. This is like one of the slowest growing Calatheas that I have or just plants in general. It takes months to just pop out one single leaf. One of the older leaves always goes super crispy and I have to cut it off anyway. So I feel like I always have the same amount of leaves on this. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of an alocasia. Right behind it, I have my Calathea Gray Star. So pretty. I love the growth pattern of this. And it's almost like a blue silver. I don't know. It's really pretty. This was a really slow grower for me in the beginning, but now it's it's popping out two leaves pretty consistently. Then over here is my Calathea orbifolia. It just gave me two new leaves, so that's really exciting. I killed the first one that I had of this, so I was really nervous to get a second one, but I just think that they are so beautiful. So I had to try again, and luckily this round is going pretty good. Like, Look at the design on the leaves. It's like silver and dark green and it's just so beautiful up here i just have my philodendron brazil down here is my cebu blue i was just sent these cuttings yesterday i filmed and posted the video last night so i will also link that down below if you want to see me unbox some plants but i was sent these cuttings and i potted them up and i stuck them here <laughs> in this corner i have my philodendron pink princess it is doing so good. Like, look at those new leaves. So beautiful. I keep getting this damage on the leaves, and I know that I'm not giving it too much light. I think that I'm not giving it enough humidity. I've been really bad with filling up my humidifier. Either way, it's still really pretty. All right, and then down here in this little kitty pot, I'm obsessed with this plant pot combo. I love it. This is my Calathea Burl Marks. 
It's doing really good. My Calethea Freddy is also doing really good. This thing has been a super fast grower for me since the weather has gotten nicer. And then right here, I have my smaller uh, Rufa Barba, my furry feather. It's furry, and I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but it is furry and fuzzy, super fast grower, and I honestly think that it's one of the easier Calatheas that I have. All right, and then down here, I have my Alocasia Maharani. It's part of the One Leaf Club right now. It is giving me a new growth point. Like I said, I was nervous that it was going dormant, just like my Black Velvet. It's giving me a new growth point, so I'm very happy about that. Next door is my Calathea Medallion. This is the newest leaf that it gave me and now it's popping out that one. So I'm really excited about that. I haven't had more than like three leaves on this plant. So very happy that there's five now. I have my Anthurium Fingers. This guy isn't doing so good. Like the leaves just don't look that great. And it has a new growth point, but it hasn't done anything in like months. It's kind of just been the same. and. I don't know, I accidentally watered it with tap water the last time I watered it, so I think that it just hates me now because of that. Ugh, I don't know. I really like this plant, so I'm hoping that I didn't kill it by doing that. Next up, I have my Peperomia Frost. This is my second Peperomia Frost. I accidentally killed my last one when I was doing a hydrogen peroxide treatment for fungus gnats. So I bought a new one, and this one is thriving. It's currently in bloom. I have my Peperomia Ripple. I think it's like the burgundy one or honestly, I really don't know what this is called. It's a Ripple Peperomia, but I think it's the burgundy one. It's kind of getting its pattern back. If you could see on that leaf right there in the winter, it kind of lost all of its color. All the leaves were like a solid color. Now that it's getting more light, it is starting to get its cool like marbling pattern back so i'm excited about that right here i have my stromanthi trio star if you guys don't know the back of the leaves are hot hot pink i'm obsessed this guy isn't really doing the best it was doing really good for me for a long time and i don't know what happened like i said i haven't been keeping up with my humidifiers so i don't know if it's just because of that it's it's doing okay it's, it's not thriving but it's not dying either down here i have my calathea white fusion it is finally giving me purple backs for a long time it was just these guys now it's popping me out pretty mature leaves so I'm really excited about that one. This is also another fast grower for me. It's my Pilea Pepermoides. This is like my fourth or fifth Pilea and I've killed every single one. They just don't like me. Thankfully, this one is doing so good. It is thriving. It's doubled in size since I got it and I'm really happy because I just love the way this plant looks. Right next to that, I have my Monstera Albo. So it just gave me a new leaf. It is so beautiful. Look at that white, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I really thought that I was going to kill this cutting, but I did not. I think that there's a new growth point, like right here, if you could see that little bump. So I don't know if that's gonna be a new leaf or not. The stem is half white, giving me half moon vibes. Up on the wall, I have this Hoya pubicalyx. It is one very, very long cutting. I unboxed this in my last video, so check that out if you wanna see me unbox it, but. I just have it wrapped around my mirror for now. I'm waiting for it to acclimate to my house because it was just in the mail for a week and then I'm going to cut it up and make a fuller plant rather than a super long plant. But for now, that is where it's going to live. Right next door, I have my Monstera adansonii. It is giving me a new leaf. I'm so excited this was sent to me as a cutting and now it's looking like a whole plant. So I'm really excited about that. Right in this corner, I have my Monstera Deliciosa. If you guys watch my channel or follow my Instagram, you know that this is my favorite house plant, and I named it Howie. So this is Howie. Howie is giving me four new leaves at the moment. There is one of them that is almost unfurled. There's a new one right there, a new one right there, and then there's also a big one in the back right there. It's kind of hard for me to show you. Howie is amazing. These leaves are huge and he does have second fenestrations which is so exciting when i got him he did not um and he's also spore variegated so which i don't really talk about that much but if you could see on that leaf he does have a little bit of sport showing it's the only leaf that has it and i'm i'm really hoping that this leaf will shoot out another leaf it hasn't since i've had him he just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger down here i have my calathea zebrina this is also one of my favorite house plants. I know I probably say that a lot, but I have like a top 10 and this is definitely in the top. It's giving me a new leaf there. 
and a new leaf right there. This one has been a really, really fast grower for me and it's been pretty easy. There is some damage on a few of these leaves because like I said, I've been really bad with filling up my humidifier. Those new leaves right there are so healthy. They're not crispy at all. I just have to remind myself to fill up my damn humidifier. On top of my humidifier, I have my begonia maculata and this is one of my newer plants. This plant is so beautiful. Like look at these leaves. They are so pretty and unique and so far it's been pretty easy for me. And then right here in between my two windows I have my Scandapsis pictus argyreus and it is so long. This thing I swear grows so fast. I've chopped this thing probably five or six times and if I didn't have it hooked up on the wall it would be laying on the floor and I just I kind of like how long it is so I don't really want to cut it anymore. I kind of want to make it a fuller plant and I know that I'm gonna have to cut the super long ones and prop them to make it a fuller plant, you know, do like some single leaf cuttings and stick them back in the pot. But for now, I'm just enjoying how long it is and it looks really pretty wrapped around that picture. These leaves are so beautiful. Here's one of the newer leaves that it just popped out. But yeah, it's really pretty and I think it's pretty easy care. I just water it when the leaves start to curl. I'm running out of battery on my camera, so I'm gonna try to fly through these pretty fast because we do have some plants in the kitchen as well. Up here I have my Hoya Crimson Queen. She is doing amazing. There's some new growth. There's some more new growth. It's just throwing hands everywhere. Like you could tell that this plant is really happy here. Right behind it I have my string of hearts. This is another plant that I just keep cutting and it just doesn't stop growing. <laughs> it's really, really easy to care for. I hope that it blooms soon. I've got it to bloom for me like two, three times already, but I'm hoping that it's gonna bloom pretty soon. On my headboard, I have all of my succulents and cacti. And like I said, my dad's gonna be building me shelving. That's gonna go above my bed and all of these are gonna go on the shelving. They're not gonna be on my headboard anymore, but for now, they are on my headboard, so I'm going to show you them really quickly. I'm just going to go through them pretty fast. This is a random succulent that I found, and I just liked it, and it was like five bucks. I I don't remember the exact name off the top of my head. I will write it on the screen, but it is really pretty. It has like red edges, and it's like fuzzy and velvety, and oh, Mau Mau's wants to say hi. Hi, Mau Mau's. And then I have my Thanksgiving cactus. I have my purple prickly pear cactus, which is not doing so good. I don't I don't know what it wants, honestly. It was doing really good for a long time, and it did start to root, but I don't know. It, it just kind of hates me at the moment. I also have this little cacti. I forget the name of it off the top of my head. It's like a really long name. If I remember what it is, I will write it on the screen as well. And then right in this pot, I decided to pot up three of my cacti to just save room on my headboard. But I have an old man cactus, a totem pole cactus cutting, and that is an Injun Zippaman cactus. This guy I bought off of someone from Facebook. I actually filmed the unboxing on my channel and it came like with a huge gaping hole in it. Shipping was not good to it. So I ended up cutting off the tip of it and trying to save it. And it's doing really good. It's already starting to root and... I'm really happy with it. I think it's grown a little bit too. Right here I have my bunny ear cactus in the cutest pot ever. I have this Kalinkoe. I think it's like a chocolate soldier. I don't remember, I'm not sure. I have my two bear paws, my regular bear paw and my variegated bear paw. These guys have grown so much. Like look at how big those paws are. I just love these things. If you don't have a bear paw, you need to get one. They are so easy to care for and they're so cute. I, of course, have my booby cactus. It's one of my favorites. I love this thing. I can't tell if it's grown or not. I'm gonna have to look back at my old video and see if it's grown at all, but I, I don't know. I feel like it hasn't. Then right here, I have my teddy bear succulent, just another cow and coey. Then I have my string of turtles, which is one of my newer plants. I got it about uh, a week or two ago. I don't really remember, but I put it in this really cute pot. And it looks like she has hair, so... I love that. I hope that I don't kill this. I heard that they're not the easiest to care for, but I have a lot of string of things, so I, I, I have confidence in myself. Last up on my headboard, I have my spiral cactus, and it's doing really, really good. And that is it for my bedroom, so I'm going to get into the kitchen and show you what is in there. We have the dog park next to our apartment, and somebody's dog is like bugging out. Okay, so this is my kitchen, and then right above my cabinets in this corner, I have my 
Philodendron Heteracium Lemon Lime. I'm obsessed with this plant. I literally cannot get over how beautiful it is. Every time I'm in the kitchen, I stare at this. I have a little string of hearts. This is actually a bunch of cuttings that I took from my mother plant and I had them rooting for like months and months and they were really rooted in the water. So I just decided to pot them up. I just potted them up and stuck them up here and I actually love how it looks like trailing down my cabinets. It's really cute though. I love the way that this little corner looks. And then over here on my kitchen table, I have my string of pearls. I powdered up my regular and my variegated together, which I just bought this yesterday and I'm kind of quarantining it. That's why it's on the kitchen table by itself because the variegated one had like weird slugs in it. Like, I don't know, it was really weird. So I'm kind of quarantining it. I treated it with Captain Jack's and, you know, gave it a good wash and brand new soil and I rinsed the roots out and everything. So yeah, I'm kind of quarantining it right now. and. This is another plant that I heard is very finicky and I'm hoping that I don't kill it. Okay, and then right in this corner, I have like this little stand. I have some sunflowers that Nick bought me. I have my African violet, which I just bought this yesterday as well. Like I said, I go check out my last video. It's really cute. I got it for $2 from ShopRite. And then I have my orchid, my one and only orchid. I'm kind of into orchids now. I'm very intimidated by them. So I picked up this one. It was like $7 from Lowe's and I'm gonna see how I do with it. And if I do good, I will get more. But for now, I'm just trial and error. I love these flowers. They are so beautiful. That is my little corner. I have like all my little flowery plants over there. And then last but not least, I have my reptile rack and over in this corner, I have a bunch of propagations. I have a Siltipacana cutting over here in water. And then in this jar, I have a Argerius cutting and a Heteresium cutting in there. I have a random one leaf pothos cutting. I wanna pot this back up in the mother plant. I have a random Sansevieria cutting in there. I just wanted to see if I could propagate a snake plant and I did, so that's pretty cool. In that same jar, I have this silver sword cutting I took it off of my mother plant because it was growing really long and lanky and it just looked weird chopped it and I'm propagating it and I'm probably gonna plant it up by itself I just I really like how tiny and cute this is I have two burrow's tail cuttings in there. I have this Argerius cutting that I might pop back up in the mother plant I'm not sure I have a little string of dolphins here. I have this heteracium right here and it has so many new growth points. I don't know if I'm just gonna give this away as like a little baby plant or pot it back up with the mother plant. I'm not entirely sure. This pot, I used to have my Drosera in, but I just killed my Drosera yesterday and I'm still upset about it, but I stuck my baby frost in here. I'm on my second Peperomia frost. So this was actually a cutting from the very first frost that I ever had. So I cut off a leaf and I propagated it for a really, really long time. And then it finally got big enough to where I could put it in soil. I did cut off the original leaf. So these are all the babies that have just grown really, really big. I really love this. I'm probably gonna eventually move it into my bedroom because it's going to be a permanent plant of mine. That is my propagation station and those were all of my plants. I'm sorry if my glasses are bothering you because I know that you could probably see the ring light in the reflection, but I didn't feel like putting my contacts in today, so I'm sorry. That was the end of the video. That was all of my plants. I know that I have a lot. Um, I've been trying to give some away that I just don't love anymore. I'm trying to only buy like my wish list plants. That was my plant collection tour 2021. It is April when I'm filming this. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe before you guys leave. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one.